Here we have a very nice looking 2010 BMW 1160 M Sport 5 door hatch in white. Starts with the offside front tyre. Tread wise on the front tyre, got a good amount there, you got a good 5mm, but you can see it has got some cracking on the inside of the tread there, so do be aware of that. Looking at the M Sport alloy on the offside front, lovely clean condition, no signs of any curbing, any scuff marks or any marks at all to that alloy, so very nice clean condition. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, a uh, bit hard to spot on a, one car, on a white car, sorry, um, but it does appear to be in good condition. I can't spot any dinks or dents down the offside of the car there. Looking around the front panel, looks nice and clean. Mirrors in nice condition, no stone chips or marks to that. Driver's door again, pretty clean. We've got some light scratches. You can see a little bit of red paint there. A um, couple of scratches on the bottom here below. Below the driver's door requires some touchings. And again, door edge looks pretty clean. Uh, again, very slight nicks there. Looks like it's had some touchings anyway. Uh, both the cells are in good condition. You've got tinted windows on the rear windows. Uh, just to be aware, on some of the body panels, as you can hear, there's quite a lot of overspray. Um, so be aware of that. Rear passenger door again, some light scratches can require some paint or um, polish. Rear door's fine, nice and clean. Rear quarters are very clean as well, no marks at all there. And the rear tyre will need changing soon, we're on about 2 mil at the most there. Rear alloy, very clean condition. Again, no scuffs or any curb marks at all there. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. As you can see, rear parking sensors. Now I couldn't spot any damage at all to the rear bumper. There's some light scratches on the back of the tailgate, so it's to require a polish there. Boot looks okay, no scratches or marks there. And doesn't appear to be any sign of any damage at all to the back of the car. A couple of light scratches there to the plastics. Take a look inside the boot. Parcel shelf, lovely clean condition as you can see. And near side rear tyre. Again, 2 mil, so that's going to need changing quite soon. Near side rear alloy. Again, one or two light little scratches, no curbing or scuff marks there though. Looking down the near side of the car. Again, body wheel looks very nice, I couldn't spot any dinks or dents at all down there. Rear passenger door edge is fine, no signs of any chips there. And the front door edge looks fine as well. Again, a couple of touchings. Um, polishes etc to the paintwork, there is one or two light scratches, again you'd expect it from a car of its age, mirror is fine, again some scratches around the front quarter there, front tyre again 5mm, but there is some cracking as you can see in between the tread there, near side front alloy, again immaculate condition, no curbing or scuffs there, moving around to the front of the vehicle, front parking sensors, again just one or two very minor stone chips to the front, and the same to the bonnet as well, so overspray is quite bad though on the bonnet, so be aware of that. But again, lovely clean condition, no damage there. Now take a look at the interior of the vehicle. As you can see, rear seats are immaculate condition. Is the half leather and cloth. Lovely clean condition inside though. Back seats are immaculate, back of the seats are nice and clean. It is a lovely looking car inside. Take a look at the driver's seat and front passenger. There is a slight, very slight scratch in the leather there. You can see two places, so there and there. So be aware of that. It hasn't actually torn the leather. It's just quite a good scratch. Apart from that, looks fine. Front passenger seat is immaculate. It's got the comfort back inside as well, so you've got the armrest, etc. Nice um, dashboard etc is immaculate, M Sport steering wheel is in a good condition as well. You've got the auto lights, auto wipers, so some nice features to the vehicle. Stepping inside the car, now we do have two sets of keys with the vehicle, as you can see here. As you can see, car starts perfectly fine, no issues at all there. No symbols appearing on the dash either. Now, just to let you know guys, this car has been remapped. Now, it is a 116D, um, normally not uh, not the most powerful. Um, it has been remapped, 
Uh, I'm not sure where. Um, it doesn't say anything in the service book of when the remap took place. Uh, but just to be aware, it has been remapped. So it's sort of got the power range of a 118D or a 120D. Um, so do be aware it has been remapped. Multifunction M Sport steering wheel. CD and radio. No issues at all there, works perfectly fine, no problems with the blowers, again everything's in good order, air conditioning etc as well. So you've got the comfort pack, the 18 inch alloys, the car does have a service pack as well, and you've got the sun protection glass. Now taking a quick look at the paperwork, looking at the V5 for the car, the car has had two owners, so two owners on the vehicle. It also does have an MOT which expires September 1st 2015, so you can see plenty left on the MOT, we won't have to worry about that. And just to top it off, we do have full franchise BMW history. 15 there at Sitna, 24 at Sitna, and then with us here at Rybrook Shrewsbury at 30, and very recently at 32,000 miles. It's only done around just under 2,000 miles since its last service, which is spot on. But there we go, guys. That is the 2010 BMW 116DM Sport in white, the five-door hatch. Uh, lots of nice features to the car. It's in a lovely condition. Just needs a paint, polish, etc., uh, a couple of touchings here, two new rear tyres will need doing soon and of course it has had a remap as well but lovely looking car for its age.